Hi, this is Philip Brooks recording for NAS 130 Section 40. Today I'm going to show you how to set up an automatic schedule for Windows Updater. Okay, so let's jump right in. The first thing is to navigate where you can see what your status is for Windows Updater. You click the Start button, you go to Control Panel, you click System and Security, and here you can see your options. There is Windows Update, and right underneath it you see a button. Um, it's in blue. Turn Automatic Updating on or off. I'm going to click that. So here you can see um, how to schedule your updates. I've currently got it set to on. You can see that by this shield with a green uh, check arrow. Your options are never check for updates, which is obviously not recommended. Check for updates, but let me choose when to download and install them. Download the updates, but let me choose when to install them or set to on, and I recommend the on. You can schedule when to check every day, at what time, some people like to leave their computer on at night and let it check because it could be a lengthy process just depending on how many you're behind. And here are some other options for recommended updates, who gets the updates, um, giving feedback. Okay, so now that we have set the automatic update scheduling, now I want to go back and check to see if there are any updates that need to be done. I'm going to hit back and go to Windows Update button again, click that. And now you can see a list of updates that are available for this computer. It says here I have four important updates and one optional. Important will probably be for your operating system or some uh, key uh, programs. This is probably an update for a third party thing like a Bing toolbar or something of that nature. Uh, and here are some stats about just your updating, when's the last check, um, when were they, in, they installed, and, and I receive updates for which products. So. And over here is any any of these updates that I select. Because I don't have to do all four and then this one as well. I can pick and choose which ones. So I'm going to click on the important. You want to check those because those are generally your more important ones. Um, here you see they categorize them by the uh, program. And here under Windows 7, these are updates for Microsoft.NET Framework. I'm going to select those. And under here, here's another program, Visual Studio 2010. I'm not going to do that at this time. It's uh, rather large. I'm going to skip that for now. And once they're highlighted, you see I've got three selected and one not. Go down here to OK. OK. And you see here I have selected three important updates. This tells you the size. And if I click this button, it will start the installation process. So next, I'm going to show you how to check your device manager to see if there are any updates to drivers for any hardware that you have installed. I'm going to close this control panel, go to Start Menu. On my computer here, I'm going to right click, go to Manage. This may take a second to load up because it's accessing all your storage. And here uh, in the left hand pane, you have Device Manager. I'm going to click that. I might give him a second. And this is a list of all the installed hardware. Okay, so let me see. Let's go with Display Adapters. This is my video card. I'm going to right click on that. Update. Oh, we're going to go to Properties. As you can see here, Driver Details. Here's files and stuff about that. Okay, I'm going to go to update driver, search automatically, and here it says that the best driver software for my device is already installed. Uh, if this, if my driver had been out of date, it would have given me um, a notice to update it now and I would have clicked that to do that. I believe all my drivers are updated so I don't believe I have an example of that. Okay, so I'm going to navigate back to the properties here for my video card. If by some chance I install a new driver or update it and there's some problems, uh, it's not working properly or if it fails, um, you always have the option to, to do rollback driver and what it does is it rolls it back to the previously installed driver if I click this, it says, are you sure? Um, this is a way to troubleshoot if you're having a problem that you didn't have before and you recently updated a driver. It simply gets rid of the latest installation. Uh, I'm not going to do that since everything's working properly. So I think we've talked about everything from Windows Updater and how to schedule automatic updates to Device Manager, how to check for updated drivers for particular hardware, and how to roll back should there be a problem with that driver. Thank you very much for your time.